All right, hello. This is the or, this is Kanto Raichu, and you're looking at the Rome Tonal Realism Seven main menu. Now, I'm not starting a campaign or anything, but um, I got a few things to get through first. Number one, this is a Realm Total War mod. For those of you that did not know that, and if you didn't know that, I don't understand how you would get to this video in the first place, because, well, I researched Realm Total Realism instead of Realm Total War if you don't know what a game mod is or what Realm Total Realism is. Anyways, uh, I'm actually going to, as from the title, you can probably tell this is a mod review. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on this mod. Now, some of you may have seen another video called Rome Total Realism 7 Fate of Empires Review, blah, 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 from the Unpro Gamer. Well, that is actually my old channel. I, I don't know if I've put that in my channel yet, but I actually did just take off all the videos on that channel because I kind of wanted to start afresh without that old channel lingering. And this is actually a lot of my most successful videos. I got thousands of views for mod reviews. You guys seem to like that. So, um... I'm redoing them essentially. Uh, so that is that. Um, let's go. Hold on. Let me check, make sure the current campaign I got is. Oh, yeah, there's this should be. I remember now. Alright. So. Uh, we're gonna go build an empire. I'm gonna do the campaign. Um, and then maybe come back for a battle. So you see, we got all these factions. We got SPQR, uh, Carthage. Uh, Dynasty of Akadides, which is basically Epirus. Um, Macedon, Dynasty of Antigonos. I don't know how you say that, I'm sorry. The League of Aetolia, that, that one. And Celtiberia, which is like um, a barbarian faction in Spain. Sparta, uh, the Illyrians, uh, Lusitani tribes, the Kingdom of Arverni with more barbarians, Gauls, or not Gauls, Idui, but they're like in the Gaul area. I think, yeah. The Gaete tribe is more barbarians are over here. Uh, a, a Greek faction. Um, these are kind of like the replacement for the Numidians. Um, another barbarian faction. Uh, Nor Norisi? Nor and the dynasty of Atolos, which is like Pergamon. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and start an SPQR campaign. Oh. And actually, the reason I did want to show you a loading screen, not the fact that I'm not too lazy to edit it out, it's just, um, I really like the loading screens, if you get my drift. <laughs> I think, like, the photos, that you, the pic or not the photos, but the pictures that they show during the loading screen, I think are actually really neat. So that's just, like, a thing introducing you to the, whatchamacallit. And it starts off with this background script. Uh... And it's like Rome, the Eternal City, yada yada. Rome, the Eternal City. I'll let you view this in case. Well, for those of you that haven't. It brings us down here to fight the Battle of Heraclea against King Pyrrhus. Which I'm not actually going to fight it because it'd take a long time and I'd probably lose because historically the Romans actually lost and it's kind of set up for you to lose if you're playing as SQR. SPQR. So he's gonna attack. I'm just gonna auto resolve it just to get this over with. See, he destroys you in the auto resolve. Disengage! Disaster! The Roman legions flee before King Pyrrhus. I, I can't speed this up yet, can I? Nope. I gotta wait for this uh, background script to run its course. We'll do. Come on. Out of move, sir. Yay! And it's going to take you over here to Libyan, 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 I don't know. And this is the same year, which is, you start at 280 BC, by the way. But, uh, Syracuse and Tyrant messes a force and attacks uh, an invasion of Punic Western Sicily, Sicily. So, you got that. You don't actually fight this battle because you're not playing against either Syracuse or them. So, okay, now the background script is run that. Alright, so Rome is actually, the reason I kind of want to do Rome is because they're, I think, the most complicated faction. And I'll start off with um, what you can easily see, is there's these settlements here with capital letters and these ones with non-capital letters. Well, the capital letter settlements are the major settlements where you can build regular stuff and it's where you train troops and everything. 
and then you got these minor settlements, which you can build a few buildings, but these are like the only buildings you can build, and then uh, another, yeah, and then another upgrade of roads after the minor tracks. And you can't recruit anything here. And it doesn't go above a population of 400, because it nerfs it and gives you negative 48.5% population growth, which technically should be that everyone's dying, but not really. And uh, so that is that, and then here's Rome. You can recruit um, like the Roman troops, the Stadi Principes, and Triarii. And then, but in other cities, for instance, Grumen Grumentum down here, you can't. Um, it's historically accurate because Rome didn't control all these territories necessarily, especially 280 BC. Um, there were they were allied states, and they'd provide troops for Rome to use, but they weren't. Principes, or they'd be like allied Principes, maybe. Um, but here you can uh, train Petites Oski, and like in RP you can train Petites Oski, Capua, you get different, there's, it's different everywhere, like up here in Eredium you get um, some of the Etruski troops, Etruscan, Etruscan, no, nah, I can't say half this stuff. And then another thing that I think is especially important is the leadership system in this game, which is most complicated for Rome, and I think puts Rome at a little bit of a disadvantage, but it is historical. See, here in the army that got defeated, you have this dude. <laughs> can't say his name. And sorry, I turned around for a second. My voice might have gone out there, but he has an appointment, which is pro consul, and that gives him management, influence, and command stars. Now, let's see if we can find another general who's not like that. Guy here. This guy has a Praetor, which, um, so compared to the Consul, what, what a con Pro Consul can do is they have the ability to command armies outside of Roman lands. So in foreign lands is the only, like, Orders. if you're going to attack a city or attack foreign land, you need, like, you literally have to have a pro consul as your general otherwise all your units will route super easy especially if you don't have like at least a praetor you need command stars if there's no command stars or a general and um, the units will route instantly and with anything other than a pro consul that has command stars that might last a little longer but uh on foreign soil you know, if you want to have success you need to have a consul of some sort but like up here the praetor um, if i remember correctly the praetors are able to command armies very effectively within your borders. So if you get attacked, you can use a Praetor defensively um, to the same effect as a console on foreign soil. Now see here, this guy, he, ha he doesn't even have an appointment at all. He would do nothing. He would be, he's like the worst, he's basically a useless family member because he doesn't even have management. So he'd cause the settlement to be not cool, <laughs> be upset. And this Quaestor here, he has management which, as a result of being a Quaestor, so he is more designed for uh, managing cities, not commanding armies. So you would use him to manage a city. And same with this guy. This guy's probably got a Quaestor appointment. Yep, Quaestor. I feel like there's one more appointment that I'm missing, but there might not be. There's Consul, or well, Pro Consul. It's the same thing. Um, maybe I'm not missing anything. I feel like there's one more appointment possible for them. Ooh. Uh, nope, I think that's it. So you got your console, your praetor, and your quester. Quester. Uh, you can look in here. Uh, Alright, that's everything for that. And so I'm going to show you a battle now, because I kind of just got, I wanted to get all that way. Which basically it's the same way for other factions, that they're a little different. There's just certain, if your general doesn't have command stars, then he's going to be a, he's not going to be able to command an army, basically what happens in other factions. And the more command stars, the better. Because like even if they have only one command star, they still might, your troops might route really easily. It can be quite a hassle. Alright, so here we are on the battle map. Um, the playing phase. I'm, just, I'm not, I'm just kind of... I don't even know if I really want to fight this battle. I mean, I'm going to attack. Like, I mean, I'm not going to fight it to the fullest. Sorry about the lag. I'm actually running a few programs in the back. And I'm too stingy or stubborn, I guess, to lower my graphics. It shouldn't be. It's not lagging that bad. Just my cursor a little bit. 
Anyways, I did set up a little bit of a historical army. I've got my Roman army here, which uh, I've got a bunch of Stadi, Principes, and some Triarii as reserve, and then I, you know, allied type cohort people. I'm gonna advance, and I'll show you the Eprot army. They are uh, basically a bunch of Phalangites and some regular, like, uh, just regular troops. God, I forget the name. Elephants, obviously. Some Cav. A lot more Cav than me, anyways, which I should have. I wasn't thinking about Cav. Anyways, so, what I, number one thing I really want to point out and uh, stop wasting your time here is that. Uh, the graphics are a lot better, the skins are better, the graphics look better than Rome Vanilla and everything looks more like clean, kind of. Just smoother, at least I think. Just higher quality. And uh... Right up. Try to get at least a little bit of action going here. But uh... The battles are like the same mechanics I guess as the uh old it's Rome Vanilla. I mean, there's not much I can really say. I just kind of wanted to show you the graphics. So there's people getting killed. Yeah, so this is the mod review. Um, I, this is a great mod. I suggest you get it. And um, I kind of want to make this a series. I'll make a uh, few many mods of many games, not just Total War games necessarily, just modifications in general. And that is that, so I will see you next time.